Hey everyone, my name is Alicia, and I'm gonna take these off because there's a really bad glare. Anyways, my name is Alicia. If you've been on the channel at all, even if you're just looking back from this video on, I moved to Texas and then I've moved back. That part is the part that I haven't posted about yet. You did. Why I went to Texas, what happened in Texas, and why I'm back. So, I moved to Texas because when I was pregnant, I was super sick. Couldn't work, yada yada. My boyfriend was struggling finding a job. So, we really had not many options. We were getting super behind on bills. So, we went to Texas to live with my mother in law. Um, not going to say too much about what happened exactly with her because she could see this. Uh, let's just say that. We all just don't see eye to eye. So the part that she also didn't know about is when we left from her house, we were still in Texas for like another couple months, and we were homeless, living in the car that she had given us that was essentially ours anyways. And so we were in the car, living in the car in Texas with a baby myself, my boyfriend, and then eventually two other people. Don't want to get into all that. It wasn't my idea. I said no, but it still happened anyways. Um, I did work in Texas when I was homeless. I was a photographer, which I enjoyed my job a lot. It was just, it was on the other side of town that we were staying on, and San Antonio is a very big city. It is about almost an hour of one way to the other, uh, from the top to the bottom type of thing. And it was about a 30 minute drive from where we're at to my job. And my boyfriend had worked a variety of jobs while we were there. And his favorite job, he ended up quitting while he was with his mother. Again, can't get into much detail, but he wishes he could have went back when he left on bad terms, so he can't. And then uh, our car was, we did maintenance on it, we replaced things, we literally replaced the battery and everything. And then we were driving on the highway and the engine breaks down. Like the engine, not just the battery, but the engine completely goes out. So now we're in an immobile car, homeless, and it's getting hotter out, can't turn on air conditioning, can't plug in fans or anything in the, in the car anymore because it just doesn't turn on. You can't go to the store or anything. And like I said, in the middle of the highway, we were stuck in the middle of the highway. We had to have somebody stop in the lane next to ours and they helped push us off and stuff like that. We almost got hit by a semi more than once. Um, yeah, not a fun day. And then these people offered to help us, and I was a little hesitant. And the only reason we did it was because we really had no other choice. And at first, it seemed like it'd be okay. When we got to the house, it was kind of dirty. But it wasn't just the fact that it was dirty, it was the fact that it was ant and roach infested and I'm not talking about oh I saw a roach once or twice no I mean when you turned on the bathroom light in the middle of the night they would scatter hundreds of ants and roaches would scatter everywhere it was disgusting I wouldn't let my son touch the ground he should have been walking by the time we were living in this place he was starting to get close to walking because we'd taken the parks and stuff but because this place was so disgusting, it was in an unsafe neighborhood, the outside was disgusting, there was really bad mosquitoes because they didn't cut their grass and stuff like that. I couldn't let him on the ground, like literally ever, because of how dirty it was. So we rented this room at this dirty house because we had no other choice. And this guy was in debt, he had a girlfriend. We're in debt. Finally get married, whatever. They're toxic. 
they yell, they scream, whatever. They also would eat our food and say they were going to replace it and it never got replaced. And then when one or two things of theirs was eaten or drank, it would become a big problem. And I mean to the point where they were threatening and stuff like that over someone eating ramen or eating a popsicle even though I bought them. They were trying to claim them as theirs. So along with this, I was also riding the bus all the time because I was working at two locations for the photography and I was getting close to being a studio manager. But because of this terrible house that we were living in with these terrible people that were making us unsafe and it was more unsafe than when we were living in the car, we decided we need to come back to Michigan. And with my job, I ended up saving up enough money to get us back, took the train back. So we took a train from San Antonio to Chicago. And the only reason I didn't take one from Chicago to Lansing, because that's where we were supposed to stay, is because they didn't have one that could take carry-on baggage or check baggage or it was only carry-on baggage or something like that. It was a baggage issue and we needed our baggage. Obviously we were moving across the country. So in Chicago I switched us over to a Greyhound but when we took the train back, which I didn't mind the train but it was a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't mind the train. It was cool. It was nice getting to see like you know different cities and stuff like that we didn't really get out or anything because you know it's just not really a good idea because <laughs> they leave after like 10 minutes but somebody decided to put freaking paper towel in the toilet we got stuck in Fort Worth for an hour and a half two hours which put us behind on schedule which made other delays happen because we were on the wrong schedule so trains would train yards that we were going through, other trains would be coming through because it was their time to, because it had been hours later, which would cause us to be late, like another 15 minutes, another half hour, they tried to catch up a little bit of the time, and they did, they caught up by like four hours, I would say, so we were four and a half hours late to getting to Chicago, we were struggling to find a fucking, whatever you want to call them, Uber, taxi, whatever, uh, I've never been to Chicago. I literally only went to Texas on a plane. I'd never left Michigan besides that. So I had never gone to Chicago, gone through any other other states. So it was cool getting to do it on the ground and actually like seeing cities and stuff like that. But Chicago is crazy. And I'm not saying I couldn't figure it out, but I didn't have phone service either. So with no phone service, trying to call an Uber, or a lift or anything like that even if you have money is almost impossible but we ended up taking a regular taxi and we missed our bus though because of how late the train had gotten there gotten there like four and a half hours late by the time we had gotten there our bus was leaving so we got on the bus the next day in the morning so we had to stay overnight in the Greyhound station and I mean, literally, we had to sleep on those uncomfortable metal chairs and stuff like that. And my son had to sleep in his stroller and everything like that. It's just not fun. But when we were on the train, I guess I had no service. The train didn't have Wi-Fi. The Greyhound did. But at the Greyhound station, I or actually it was on the way to uh, the Greyhound and stuff like that. We were in Springfield. And there's a cable Wi-Fi it shows up as. My uncle has Xfinity, so I use that, and he lets me use it and stuff like that. And I was supposed to be moving in with my uncle, but things came up. He got evicted. So now we're on our way to Michigan with nowhere to go. But luckily, I have family here. So I was staying with family for a couple months off and on. Like, I was jumping around where we were jumping around. But first things first, we were in Lansing. My family isn't in Lansing, just that one uncle. So I had to travel another like two hours just to get to where I would be able to stay somewhere. And it was supposed to be temporary, which it ended up not being temporary. Anyways, 
and it was jumping back and forth between my friend's house, my mom's house, and my grandmother's house. And then we ended up staying just at my grandmother's house for like a month. And then we moved in with my boyfriend's dad, and that's where we're at now. But my boyfriend's had a job ever since pretty much the first week he's been back here in Saginaw. Yes, that's where I'm at, Saginaw. Try to come find me. No, kidding. But, yeah. That's what has happened in the last year, essentially. The bridged, shortened version where I'm not completely ranting about every single aspect. So, hopefully that answers some of the questions that I'm sure people have if they've actually watched any of the videos on this channel prior. If not, I just probably raised more questions. Sorry. But, well, I hope you all have a good day. And bless be.